Uh, the President Biden does more in one hour than most people do in a day. He gets more done in an hour? <laughs> I'm sorry, how did she say that with a straight face? Is she jabbing herself in the thigh while she talks? Seriously, her ridiculous attempt to gaslight the world was only matched by Biden's attorney who tried convincing the public that Biden didn't display a memory issue in the investigation, but was actually schooling the her team. I wasn't suggesting that every single question was bad. I was simply pointing out that the special counsel had indicated uh, that somehow the president wasn't able to answer questions directly or clearly. And I was simply suggesting, uh, again, based on what I clearly recall, and I think all of us in the room recall, that the president was not only answering questions, he was pointing out flaws and lines of questioning that were put to him by the special counsel. Oh, here to discuss is Eric Shiner, director at MRC TV. Eric, thanks for being with us. It's great to see you. Thanks for having me. Well, Eric, uh, I have to know, who is buying any of this garbage? I mean, <laughs> it, Biden runs rings around people all day and uh, was pointing out the legal flaws of a special counsel. Yeah, uh, there's a big stretch. You know, the, the, the wagons are circling and a lot of the mainstream media is circling the wagons to defend Biden here. The problem is it, there's tapes of the uh, of the interviews he gave with the special counsel. So really, if you want to disprove it, release the videotape because <laughs> nobody has seen these great Biden moments where he's sharp as attack and dead on. Uh, they bring out all the Kamala Harris. Everybody that the media wants to interview tells us how sharp Biden is behind closed doors. Well, let's see the, let's see the video. Show it to us. I mean, we, we've already seen the report. What else could be in there? Um, I don't think the Biden team would really like to see that video be released. <laughs> and all the video that we see from Biden, I mean, we all remember his great press conference on Thursday where he confused <laughs> Egypt and uh, Mexico and decided Mexico was on the border of, of Gaza. Um, <laughs> you know, I... I I, I, I am not addled and senile. I'm right. I'm sharp as a tack. And then he gets confused. That did not go well at all. Um, no. So they're going to bring these people out. They're going to make these claims. But I think really, if you really want to defuse it, if you're Team Biden, maybe you should have the uh, video recordings from the special counsel interviews released. But I don't think that's something they really want people to see. Yeah, I, I think you're probably spot on there, Eric. They definitely don't want people to see that. And, you know, no matter how many coats of paint they try to slap on it, that old <laughs> lemon of a Buick uh, ain't moving off a lot, is it? Uh, you know, Eric, I also can't wait to see the, the slob kebabs on the view's defense of the new Biden video with the black dad and his sons. I have that clip, and let me tell you, it is a treat. Brace yourself. Let's roll that, and then we'll come back to you. Well, I mean, you got to take a bigger as you got. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want the root of making sure I had the hammer in there. So tell me about you guys. What you doing these days? One, two. Share about your passion in sports. I'm playing AAU basketball right now. Are you really? You both, are you guard? Yes, sir. Now, what grade are you in? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Right now, I'm just playing basketball, playing guard on the JV team for my school. How about the school? How y'all doing in school? You should tell the president about the school. Favorite thing about it is the business academy I'm in. We get to like travel, so we've been to like NC State, uh, Wake Tech, and we. You're kidding me. Yeah, we went to this small dry cleaning business, and it's just, it's cool, it's a great experience. Well, that impressed. Is that a new program in the school? Yes, sir, it is. It just started just a couple of years ago. You know how much this guy loves you. Yeah. You can just feel it, can't you? Yes, sir. Your dad jumped in front of a bull for you. By the way, we dads are hard to raise once you're a teenager. We're hard to raise, so you gotta be patient with us, you know what I mean? Can you imagine, Eric, if Trump ran an ad like this? <laughs> oh, boy. I, I, yeah, the media would be all over it. And, of course, the media, most of the mainstream media is going to try to ignore that this video exists because it is so cringe. Yes. Uh, you go on social media, everybody's wondering, who is the person on Team Biden who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> uh, especially with the line, I got you all fried chicken, but I made sure I got myself a burger. <laughs> um Wow. I mean, talk about pandering for votes. This, the optics on this are terrible. They're, I mean, they're absolutely horrible. Remember Sheila Jackson Lee, like yelling about Jerome? I think Jerome got a new job and maybe he works for, for Team Biden now because this, this was not a good idea. And if you go on social media, most of the people mocking this video are African-Americans. 
<laughs> they're going, what the heck is this? This is unbelievable. They can't believe that this was made. They find this embarrassing. Yeah. Um, so it, it's pretty much all Americans across yes. the board find this a very cringe worthy video. So, yeah, yeah I, I don't know who woke up in the morning and said, oh, it's Black Outreach Day. Let's order some fried chicken and we'll have the president sit down. It'll be great. What a wonderful idea. Terrible idea. Whoever Terrible. that was needs to be fired immediately. It is pathetic. I think that is the worst racist pandering I've seen in, I don't know, ever. I, I don't know. I guess this was to make up for him telling Charlemagne that you ain't black if you don't vote for me, right? I mean, this is right up there. So very, uh, very interesting to see that. You know, in recent years, uh, Bill Maher has actually expressed some reasonable political views uh, when we're looking at things like that. Uh, so not so in an exchange with uh, Jillian Michaels, who was a guest on his podcast. I have a clip from that that I want to play for you, and then we'll come back to Eric. This country came out of the pandemic way better. Than we just we won the pandemic economically. I mean, America. God, I don't feel that way. Explain it to me. I feel like inflation's um, insane. Number. Everything. Inflation is not insane. Bill. I, I, go buy there, a car. There's, there's numbers. I, I understand things, a but, house but, but but it has has tripled here. Uh, <laughs> look, I, I I get that people buy some f-ing eggs. Um, <laughs> What is going on with Mar lately? <laughs> According to him, America won the economic pandemic and there is no inflation. I mean, that is up there with the Joe Biden chicken video and Corrine Jean-Pierre saying Biden gets more done in an hour than the average person. What the heck? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's the leftist spin. You know, America's economy was strong going into the pandemic. So guess what? We're the strongest coming out. Oh, my goodness. So we won. Um, even though everybody's paying more for everything. And of course, today we saw the consumer price index show that, uh, guess what, the price of things is up. It's not what they expected. And the media loves just picking certain things. I watched Good Morning America this morning and I was dying because they were like, well, even though food prices are up, cereal is down 2%. So if all we eat is cereal, get on the boat with Captain Crunch and and eat cereal all day. Uh, Be careful if you eat with corn pop, though. He's a bad dude. Corn pop is dangerous. Um, Yeah, they they picked the, well, sausage is down 1%. So therefore, if we eat cereal and sausage, nobody wants to eat that all day. Food is up. Face it, face it. Food is up. And they always nitpick well, it, well, it's actually higher than it was last month, but they always try to compare it to two months, three months ago. Nobody wants to go back to 2021 when Joe Biden took office and compare it to the prices then, because frankly, they're horrible. It's, it's through the roof. Yeah. It's still sky high.